Hello, my name is Mark Archer and I'm the founder of the Blyatt Saxophone School in Bath. Today I'm going to teach you the very first um, way to set up a saxophone and to play a saxophone and play your very first note. So step one is how to set the saxophone up. So the saxophone basically comes in two parts. This part here, which is the main body, and the crook, C-R-O-O-K, the crook. So what you do is you wiggle the crook on and tighten up, and that is the saxophone set up. Grab a lovely, comfortable Neotech sling, which isn't going to pull up the neck, and put that on. Put this over Katie's head. <gasps> saxophone time. Okay, so that is step one, setting up the saxophone. Step two is setting up the mouthpiece. There are four things that make up your sound on the saxophone. The actual saxophone itself. The second thing we're going to set up is this thing here. This is the second half of your sound called the mouthpiece. And this is a bit like your gear stick on a car. You can have the most beautiful looking Ferrari or Porsche, but if the gear stick doesn't work, you're not going anywhere. So this is the, probably the most important part of playing a sax other than your good self. Attached to this is the most important thing, which is the reed. This is the most important thing which creates your sound. So what we're gonna do with this amazing, amazing bit of cane. First thing I'm gonna do is gonna give you a quick suck like a lollipop, just get the reed nice and wet, Katie, okay? And then we're going to put the reed just under flush, so it's just under flush, okay? And slide the ligature, so it's just... So you miss the reed, so you don't snag the reed, and tighten up so it's reasonably tight. And we're gonna slide that on about eight tenths of the way down, and we're gonna tune it up shortly once Katie's got a note. So now, the saxophone is set up for Katie to play it, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to breathe in and push your stomach out. So you're literally breathing right from your stomach. There are certain notes on the sax you will need to push right from your stomach. Okay? So that's how to breathe, and it's also how to breathe when you want to, if you ever want to sing as well. So the fourth step to creating your sound is very poshly called, in French, your embouchure. Now, your embouchure is your cheek muscles, the lip muscles, the whole physiological makeup of your face, which is different from my face, therefore you will have a very different sound from me. And one of the most beautiful things about the saxophone is no one sounds the same. Okay, now to create a sound on this wondrous instrument, there's the saxophone. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pop your fingers one and two. He's going to pop that on for, for the note A. Okay? You're going to lift your left hand up so it's a bit, so that's it, so you're missing those keys. Then you're going to place your two front teeth on the top about a third of the way in and slightly curl, slightly, just a little bit, curl your bottom lip. That's it. So creating like a cushion for the reed. Okay? Now lifting the horn up a little bit so it's going straight in. That's it. Relaxing the two front teeth. Keep the mouth as relaxed as possible. Okay? Low the note. Great stuff, good, okay? Now this time, rest the two front teeth and just take a little bit of air in so you're not just using the air in your body. Really nice, good. And you're getting it right because you because I can see your dimples, so you know you're getting it right then. Good, go one more time for me. Good. Lovely, there's your first note. Relax and relax. <laughs> you've got the first note, that's the main goal. Well done. So once you've got your initial note on the saxophone, one of the most important things is to tune the saxophone. Now you tune the saxophone by moving this mouthpiece forwards or backwards, according to get it, get it in tune, whether it's sharp or flat. Buy on your phone a fantastic um, app. There's plenty of them on there. There's one called Clear Tune, which is amazing. Set, transpose it to E flat if you're a, an alto sax player and B flat if you're a tenor or soprano sax player. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have a little wiggle with this and we're gonna get this in tune according to whether it um, sits in the middle of the needle on the app. Okay, so we're gonna play the note A Always tune it to the note A, which is the two fingers on that Katie's playing already every time you warm up, because with the heat, the saxophones go in and out tune. So start from the note A, always tune your sax. Okay, we're more or less there, aren't we? Just give it a little wiggle forward a little bit more as well. Remember when you start the note to breathe into it rather than blow too hard, then we won't get overblowing going on. Just about there now, aren't we? It's relaxing with it, isn't it? You can see the more you relax with it, the sweeter the sound is. Good. One more time. Brilliant. Good. And you're now in tune on the saxophone. Every time, set it up, make sure it's in tune. Step six is playing the first three, four notes of the lower register on the saxophone. The sax is divided into the upper and lower register. Upper register is for high, lower register for, for low. The first note we're going to play, we just play the A, you can relax now, is that one there which is a C. Now what I want you to do with your fingers, I want your fingers to be touch tight to the keys, okay? Lift your left hand up a little bit so you're missing those keys, okay? And we're gonna play that note. And two front teeth on the top, nice and relaxed bottom lip. Brilliant. 
Now, one of the things the Americans do that they really like is called long tones, long notes. Okay, so every time you're playing a note, think, tone, what's it sound like? What's it sound like? What's it sound like? Get the two front teeth on the top and get nice relaxed with your bottom lip and try and really work your breathing. So you really take an active gulp. Okay, so you get a real, I'm taking the air in. Can you see? So rather than just using the eight seconds you've got in your body, aim for about 25. And then when you play the note, think the note C. Mm, C oh, think that note, put it into your psyche of how it sounds. Hold that note for as long as you can, but don't pass out. Okay. okay, have a go at that. Fantastic. There's your note C. Brilliant. Then you switch to the first finger for your note B. And that's the weird thing about the sax. So it starts there and it switches to those fingers. That's what that I do call the switch. And again, you're aiming just to be touch tight to the keys as well, Katie. Okay, brilliant. Okay, brilliant. All right, so just go for the B now. Fantastic. Now switch from the C to the B, just between those two. Right. I'm going to do two more notes just to finish off this step. The A you've already played, so play me that lovely A again with two fingers. Good. Now, did you hear as you started that? went, yeah. So as you start the note, the attack the note, which is almost the wrong way to pull it on the sax, relax, okay? So they always have this word attack. It's not an attack unless you're playing some wild funk. Really breathe into it rather than blow into it. Go again. Marvellous. And three fingers on for the G. And that's the left hand sorted of your natural notes on the sax. That's it. Don't worry about that. You'll get a bit of that. So as you start the note, relax a little bit more. That's it. Relax the bottom lip. Slow the air down. Push my tongue a little bit. Slow the air. Nice one. Good. And that's the first four notes um, of the left hand. Switch. Good. Bro. Good. That's the first. Four notes on sax. You sound great. Really good start. You can relax now. Relax. <laughs> so the next step is playing the lower notes on the saxophone. So you put your three fingers down with the left hand, and it's all about, unless, for the first little while, unless those three fingers are down with the left hand, your right hand's not playing ball. And then we're going to go four fingers on for the F, five for the E, and six for the D. Okay, making sure you're missing those keys at the back. Now, as you do this, again, breathe into it, push from your stomach, and it sounds ludicrous, but think low as well. So slow the air down and think the note out, okay? And always, when you're playing a saxophone with low notes, think these notes out. Really soft. Okay, play me a gorgeous low F, nice and soft. Brilliant. Five fingers on for the E. That's it, right on the tips. Similar gig. Really soft. That's it, good. You can see it's all about just slowing the air down. Six for the D. Okay, now, the way to do this is to have a little run down to it. So go from the F, four fingers for the F, five for the E, and six for the D. Okay, so have a little run down to it. So literally you have a run up to it. Okay, so slow the air as you do it. Get your stomach pushed out as well. Slow the air down. That's it, it's coming. And again, let's do that one more time. Okay, so that low D, just relax for a moment. So that low D, so what we should do now is send you up and down those stairs for five minutes and then come back in and try and blow that note again. It requires that much air. You've got to almost blow as though you've got no air at all. So you, you say you're a knacker and you'll go, that's all I've got. And then push from your tongue at the same time, okay? And think it low. But there's always a note that's a bit of a sob. And that is your low D at the moment, okay? So that's why we've done those notes first. But that's okay. We can go back and nail that as well, okay? Brilliant, well done. The next step is we're going to look at the upper register now. So we're going to use this thing at the back called the octave key, which is the upper register. On when you're happy, off when you're not. Your thumb on these wonderful new octave of key mechanisms, which show in the age, it goes from knuckle to tip, knuckle to tip, knuckle to tip. That's it, perfect. So we're now going to go from right to left, from def, D-E-F, gab, G-A-B. So go one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's it, right on the tips as well there, KT, right, okay? Now the upper register note, we're going to work on the first three notes, the def. When you play the upper register notes, you blow fast, you think high, 
Okay, and slightly, a little bit later, going to tighten your lip, but not for these first three notes. So it's D, F, so the D. Okay, six fingers on, thumb on the octave key, and hopefully, uh, compared to the lower register, this will be a walk in the park. That's it, make sure your hands curl brown. That's it, that's it. curl that hand around. One more time, you're catching something there, that's it. Brilliant, so make sure you're just not catching any keys. Did you hear it when, ooh, rather, ooh, go, go on time. Great, and then take that finger off, go for five for the E. Great. Four for the F. Fantastic. Now do D, E, F for me and we're good to go. Fantastic. And that's your first three notes of your project, which is a lot easier than the lower register, yeah. isn't it? Cool. Okay, that's the next stage done. Well done. Very good. So six fingers on for the D with the thumb on the octave key on the back. Then five fingers on. Then four fingers on. D, E and F. And again, you can practice this without blowing the sax, just getting your fingers, what I call, touch tight to the keys. D, E, F, D, E, F. Even sounds like it. The final step in learning your, how to play the saxophone and also the natural notes of the saxophone are the four at the top, which is the left hand, one, two, and three. And we go from the G to the two fingers for the A. So he's going to take that finger off. To one for the B. One for the B. This is where the fingers don't talk to each other. And then switch to your C. Now, when you go from the, about the G, the A upwards, you have to very slightly tune the note with your lip. Blow a little bit faster and slightly tighten your bottom lip to keep it in tune. Otherwise, it sounds a bit, it sounds a bit out of tune. Okay? So this is a little bit of a tuning with your lip. Now, if that note comes out clean, great. If you get a grumble on it, like an enforced almost growl, it means you've got a slightly too much mouthpiece in your mouth, okay? So use that as your cutoff point of how much embouchure, how much mouthpiece to take, okay? Go for that, Katie. Rest your two front teeth. Good, so a little bit tight with your lip. Good, a little bit less mouthpiece again. A little bit less mouthpiece. Good, slightly tighten your lip. Good, good for that. Take that finger off. Two for the eight. We're going for glory now. Right, much tighter with lip. And again, a little bit harder. Now you're getting a go. Go for one for B. You're getting it. First finger, first finger. Fantastic. And then switch for your C. That's it, you get a bit more only one, doesn't matter. Good, we've got to do a bit of work on that lip. Brilliant, well done. Okay, and your lips go, oh, can I stop now, please? I run out of muscle. So a little trick is to do the top notes. Now you've got your embouchure sorted when your lip's fresh. Do the lower register when your lip's getting tired. The only reason we did it the other way around is I always think the lower register is a little bit trickier. Brilliant start there. Okay, so go and take your lip and have a little rest now. <laughs> well done, really well done, well done. That was step nine of how to play the G, A, B, and C with the thumb on on the octave key upper register on the alto side.